Hi, you're with Chandeep once again, and we are in the final video, like the three-part video that we've been discussing, and where I am showing you three awesome hacks to apply filters to your data. So we've already seen auto filter, we've seen advanced filter, now it's the final one, which is slicers and table. This is the most easiest and the most sexy one, I believe. So for this, what you need is uh, definitely Excel 2013, otherwise this is not going to be working in your in your laptop or desktop, whatever. So Excel 2013 and higher. The first thing that you do is apply uh, table structure to your data. So Control T for Tango to apply a table structure, press Enter. In case you wanna name the table, name that table in the design tab. In case you don't, that's fine, no problem at all. Then what you do is go in the design tab and insert a slicer on your table. Inserting slicer is available in Excel 2010, but only in the pivot tables, not in the tables. Inserting slicers in the table was made available in Excel 2013 and above, right? So insert slicer, let's say I wanna insert a slicer on sales rep, on customer and on the region. Three things, I'm just gonna say, okay. And I have nice looking slicers in front of me. What I can do is I can nicely arrange those slicers in front of me and I can start applying filters to my table, right? So I can just click on these three slicers and I nicely align them. Now let's say that I wanna filter down to south, my data gets filtered to south. I wanna filter down to Goodfly, I can have Goodfly and only Bruce. So my data gets filtered. And if in case you wanna cancel those slicers, you can just um, do the uh, filter cancellation button at the top and the data gets unfiltered again, right? Uh, just in case, uh, let's say you wanna apply a filter to only West. Now you can't unfilter the data from here. So you can't press Control, Shift and L, which is the shortcut to apply and delete filters and then expect the filters to go off from here. So in case you've applied it through the slicer, the filter is also going to go off through the slicer or maybe I think manually also works from here. So I think this is also going to work from here. So either this or this, but the shortcut control shift L is not going to work. All right, so those were the three hacks that I wanted to talk to you about, the three filter hacks. Uh, the first one, auto filter, advanced filter and slicers, slicers and tables, right? There's, there are two more things that I wanna leave you with, which is how can you actually make a dashboard using slicers in tables, right? I'm just gonna give you a link to that video and I've just actually made the slicer in about 15 minutes, that's about it. And you can just take a look at that video as well. It's, uh, it's really nice. The second thing that I wanna talk about is that how can you make a slicer in case you were working with um, the earlier version of Excel, probably Excel 2010 or maybe earlier versions of Excel, then what is gonna be helpful is advanced filter. And how can you use advanced filter and the automation that we have learned to kind of again make a dashboard you know, using advanced filter and the automation. So, which is probably similar to slicers, but since you don't have Excel 2013, you're gonna go the advanced filter way, right? So I'm gonna leave you, leave you a link to both the videos, both the dashboard videos, and you can then take a look and uh, learn from there. All right, thank you so much. In case you have any comments or questions about uh, any of these three techniques or in questions in general about filters or anything else, please do leave me a comment or maybe on the YouTube or on the, on the blog itself and I'll be more than happy to help you out. Thank you so much for watching this and do take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.